Welcome back to this Reality Check Half Hour Special. With all the talk of CISPA possibly becoming law, it's easy to forget that the feds, well, they're already cracking down on the web, and it's happening without any new American internet laws. In fact, forget lawmakers in this country completely, because President Obama has already signed an international treaty called ACTA, which allows the U.S. to crack down on internet piracy in other countries. It was October 1st of last year when the United States, Australia, Canada, Korea, Japan, New Zealand, Morocco, and Singapore all signed a treaty known as ACTA. Very little is known about it. The media here in the U.S. has barely talked about it. In fact, ACTA was crafted so secretly that Kader Arif, the European Parliament's rapporteur for ACTA, resigned from his post over the issue, saying that he had witnessed never-before-seen maneuvers by officials preparing this particular Internet treaty. Mr. Arif went on to cite reasons why he opposes ACTA. I condemn the whole process which led to the signature of this agreement. No consultation of the civil society. Lack of transparency since the beginning of negotiations. Repeated delays of the signature of the text without any explanation given. Today, ACTA is still not making headlines, despite a major arrest and internet shutdown just a few weeks ago involving a company known as Mega Upload. Now, Mega Upload is what you would call a digital locker. It's a site that allows for file storing and file sharing. So, you can use it like a Dropbox if you make a video and want to share it with other people. Unfortunately, the file storing and sharing was also used by people who had pirated movies or pirated music or unauthorized downloads of movies and TV shows. Mega Upload had 180 million registered users and accounted for 4% of all the Internet's traffic worldwide. The owner of the site, Kim.com, yeah, that's his name, he lives in New Zealand, another ACTA treaty country. And despite being told that he had broken no laws in New Zealand, .com and several others were arrested. They were indicted by a grand jury in Virginia for racketeering conspiracy, conspiracy to commit copyright infringement, and other charges. More than 20 search warrants in the U.S. and eight foreign countries were executed seizing 18 domain names and an estimated $50 million in assets, including servers run in Virginia and Washington, D.C. So what's the big deal? A site that deals in pirated movies and illegal downloads was shut down. Well, it sounds like there are no problems here, and yet, while much of what was on Mega Upload was an enormous amount of pirated content, also among it happens to be personal files of many users who utilize Mega Upload as a Dropbox alternative. Wisely or not, many people use the service to send files to themselves, friends or even colleagues, not expecting those files, which were not illegal, to disappear overnight. But the feds are now telling those people they're out of luck. All the personal information and personal property is gone. So here's what you need to know. There is another issue with ACTA that no one's talking about. The entire role of the U.S. in this treaty may be unconstitutional. That's because even though ACTA is being enforced, the Senate has not ratified that treaty. Article 2, Section 2, Clause 2 of the U.S. Constitution includes the Treaty Clause. It empowers the President of the United States to propose and chiefly negotiate agreements between the U.S. and other countries, but only after the advice and the consent of a supermajority of the United States Senate. The Obama administration trying to get around that by claiming that ACTA it's not a treaty, but an executive agreement, and thus not subject to legislative approval. Despite what you may hear, this is not just an issue of pirated movies. It is a bigger issue. It's a treaty being treated as law, despite the fact that it was crafted so secretly and without any oversight from our elected lawmakers. Anytime international law becomes the law of this land, you better sit up and pay attention. And that is Reality Check. And I do want to update you on what is happening with ACTA as law. Just today, a European Union official said that because of the large protests against ACTA throughout Europe, that ACTA, the anti-counterfeiting trade agreement, probably will not be ratified by the European Union. Speaking in Berlin today, European Commission Vice President Neely Crowes said, quote, We are now likely to be in a world without SOPA and without ACTA. When we come back, aside from all these internet bills, two major tech players, Microsoft and Skype, are already tracking and recording your online activity. It's called lawful interception. I'll tell you how it works when we come back.